Ladin, Dobri Din, good day to you all. It's really nice to see you all here, all the press people, all the people just uh, to come and see what is done here in Park in Valdemar by Radisson and afterwards in Park in uh, Parola, also by Radisson. But at this point, we would like to announce the official opening of these two hotels. And that's why we have three speakers for today. And uh, please give them a round of applause. It's Director of the Investment and Development Agency of Black Beyond the Sozos. Hello. Hello. Master General Manager of Marketing by Radisson Riga Valdemar. Marketing by Radisson Residence Riga Barona. Astor Riga Hub Salon Conference managed by Resnor, Ms. Andrea Sherafo. And Area Vice President, Eastern Europe and Russia, the Residor Hotel Group, Mr. Michelle Stalpoy. Uh, today's working language will be English, so if you have any questions or anything you, can, you can't understand, if you have to, it has to be translated in Latvian or Russian, we have interpreters here, so please don't be shy to ask. But I would like to ask an opening speech, Mr. Nantrozos, please. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished audience here. Uh, I'll be switching at one moment to the Latvian language to uh, inform about uh, what I really would like to emphasize. Uh, Latvian journalists here and Latvian media. Uh, very short introduction of myself. I'm CEO of a government agency, so-called bureaucrat, uh, supporting uh, inward business, uh, supporting uh, uh, tourism in particular. We are. Uh, uh, rather important catalyst of the processes and of course today is kind of a birthday uh, it is a pleasant event and to promote tourism to promote our country of uh, Latvia our capital city Riga is uh, uh, almost impossible if it is not having a solid coverage of uh, the private sector offering uh, to the world uh, good high quality services uh, tourists guests they want to see our country they love usually love our country but they need also to sleep somewhere and uh, i think uh, this sector in particular uh, especially uh, I'm not supposed to speak about particular two hotels, there are better speakers than me, but they serve a four-star hotel sector, which is obviously the most popular in our country, most also uh, visited one. I give you one figure. In 2015, uh, more than one million guests were staying in uh, four-star hotels in our country. Just in comparison, in three-star hot hotels, only 360,000, uh, which is uh, three times less. And now one more fact, in Latvia there are more three-star hotels than four-star hotels. So obviously, uh, this is not even a niche. You cannot speak about the niche if you speak about main flow of inward tourists in our country. Nu, es vēlos latviešu valodā varu dažus teikumus. Es tiešām apsveicu gan uzņēmumu, kas ir ieguldījies šajās viesnīcās, gan menedžmentu, Un katra jauna tāda atklāšana ir kā dzimšanas diena, jā, ar to es arī apsveicu darba kolektīvu, protams, šeit es domāju, ka Rīgā ir par divām skaistām un labi organizētām viesnīcām vairāk. Un uh, arī turismu piedāvājums no Latvijas valsts ir nenoliedzami kļuvis bagātāks ar abām divām šīm, nu, manā skatījumā atšķirīgajām viesnīcām, atšķirīgajām ar, gan ar savu ģeogrāfiju, vien ir vienā pusē Daugavā, jo otru otrā, bet arī uh, Baronielas viesnīca ir ar cita veida piedāvājumu, manā izpratnē vairāk arī ar piedāvājumu ārzemniekiem, kas grib justies Latvijā kā mājās, kur ir arī savu virtuvīte, kur ir arī cita veida iekārtojums. Nu, un par četru zvaigžņu viesnīcu segmentu es nu, pat izteicos angļu valodā, bet man liekas tieši svarīgi pasvītrot, ka ar vien vairāk turistu izvēlās tieši četru zvaigžņu viesnīcas. Mans minējums ir, kaut arī Latvijā trīs zvaigžņu viesnīcas ir vairāk, ka cena, ko jūs maksājat par četru un trīs zvaigžņu viesnīcām, ir salīdzinoši vienāda vai tikai ar nelielu atšķirību. Nu, un tādēļ arī šis sava veida paradoks. 
Un, nu, manuprāt, uzņēmējiem, kas šeit man blakus un kas runās jau par savu konkrēto projektu, ir tā, zinām, mērā laba statistika. Laba statistika ir turistu skaita pieaugums, es nosaukšu vēl pēdējo skaitli no savas puses. Dažu gadu laikā, ja mēs salīdzinām izaugsmi no 2010. gada, kad Latvijā viesnīca apkalpoto klientu skaits bija 1,3 miljoni, tad jau pērni 2016. gadā tie bija 2,3 miljoni. Dažu gadu laikā te jau dubultojies ir viesnīcu iemītnieku skaits Latvijā. Tā kā es labprāt beigās ir atbildējušu uz jautājumiem, ja tādi radīsies pie manis kā pie valsts pārstāvju, bet es no savas puses esmu ļoti pateicīgs par šo lēmumu, priecīgs, jo veicinā turismu Latvijā nebūtu iespējams, ja nebūtu kvalitatīvu piedāvājumu. Tikai ar reklāmu, ka mēs esam viesmīlīgi būt par maz, un šis ir ļoti zolīts segums un ļoti zolīts papildinājums mūsu Latvijas turismu piedāvājumam. Paldies! Thank you, Mr. Sozos. Uh, and you will all be able to ask questions afterwards if you will have some. But uh, for that, Shanto, please. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to Park in Valdemara. I am very honored to have you here and to introduce myself as the new Cluster General Manager of the three properties, Park in by Redison Valdemara, Park in by Redison Residence Barona, and Astor Hotel managed by Residor. I will uh, start with the be beautiful property that is uh, hosting us uh, today, that is featuring 178 uh, rooms with a fantastic view over the beautiful uh, Riga. We are also very proud to have in this hotel the first Boca Bona concept, uh, Italian concept restaurant of Residor in the Baltics, that is offering a modern interpretation of the Italian cuisine. Also, this hotel is uh, offering um, a ballroom that can be divided into three meeting rooms together with two foyers and together with our smart, unique smart meeting and event concept, it's a fantastic choice for small and medium-sized events. Moving on to our second property that is a unique residence property located exactly in the heart of the beautiful Riga offering 78 apartments allows uh, easy and quick access to all the business and leisure attractions. We are very proud of this product and uh, we are having uh, one and two bedroom apartments with fully equipped kitchenette, uh, state-of-the-art TV, uh, Wi-Fi internet, coffee facilities 24-7, reception and uh, internal connection with the Tokyo City restaurant that will be open shortly estimated on mid-April, now currently under construction. Both uh, properties are offering an exquisite stay experience that is colorful, vibrant and colorful. I am extremely proud to take, the manage to take over the management of uh, these properties and I am looking forward to offer many memorable moments to our guests in the future. Thank you very much again for being here with us today. I wish you a fantastic day and evening ahead with us. Thank you. Thank you, Shanto. And now, yep, of course. And now, Mr. Stalman, please. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> so, uh, obviously, uh, the Baltics, and, and especially Riga, has always been a success story for a group, uh, the resort, resort uh, group, where we have now opening these seven hotels in the city. Uh, but we are opening <coughs> two new hotels today, officially, Barona and Valdemara, with two different concepts. One, the Barona is in the city center. Barona, you know, hopefully, it's really the city center. And it's a residence concept. Uh, it's a residence concept, residence concept, where targeted more for long stay, but also some very short stay, long weekends, uh, etc. But the, the rooms are a little bit larger, they have a kitchenette and all this. It's mainly targeted for this type of customer, mainly business people who stay quite a long period uh, to be able to afford a very affordable residence in the center of the city. It's, it's just great. 
The second hotel here is it's a, it's a, it's a vision from the Astor Group, uh, which is absolutely uh, well in advance of a lot of people. Um, that part of the river is going to continue to develop. And offering a, a brand new hotels in that part of the river, uh, yes, it's, it's an adventure, but also it's a very, very rewarding for the expansions of the city. Why do we open now seven hotels in Riga? We, this is one of the second largest uh, number of hotels we have in, in all over Europe. <laughs> With the number of hotels, we have more hotels in Riga than in Moscow. Um, or in the same as in St. Petersburg. Uh, again, we are opening these two new concepts, fresh, vibrant and complicated. Uh, in the new area, the new business area. So we are definitely committed to continue to grow in, in, uh, in the Baltics. We have for the moment 14 hotels in the Baltic in operations, four under constructions, one extensions. So we see we, we continue to grow and we continue to believe in the Baltics because the Baltics is, is like any relatively new country has up and down, but the long term is very promising. And, uh, and in this country is very well known for its startup companies, a uh, lot of IT, etc. So, so we really strongly believe in this country. So uh, we will continue to invest. There are probably other sites that are coming soon uh, somewhere in the Baltics, not maybe Riga. It's, uh, it's, uh, we will open one hotel more in Riga in the next three years, that's for sure. I cannot tell you more than that today, uh, but we are in finalizations of opening a third hotel, in, uh, uh, eight hotels in Riga with a brand new concept. So again, a different concept. So, that's it. Okay, so thank you for the kind words and I'm happy. Yep, thank you all for all the great speakers. Now, if anyone has any questions, None whatsoever. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, how much investition, investition uh, how much money one was put into, into these two hotels, maybe separately? Uh, you're representing, sorry? Uh, they're not business. Hmm. Yeah. Obviously, these questions I cannot answer you because we are managing the hotels. We are not owning the hotels. So, uh, it, it's an investment group that invests into the hotels. And our company, we are Carlson Visitor Hotels Company. We are managing the hotel. So we come here and we take this building and manage it as an hotel. That's the way we, we work. So I cannot unfortunately uh, answer you on this investment, but it's I'm sure so quite consequent because it's a very nice hotel, it's a very nice building and it comes from nothing. So entirely built, it's not just renew. Okay, thank you for the question. Anyone else? So probably, yeah, yeah, please. On uh, your yeah. episode of multicrowd.com, when you do months, you can read that in the month of January, October, and March, the most logical season is the most logical season. You can read that in the Baltics. 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 You can read that in the Un viesnīca pie pildītos labāk dzīves periodā. Sapratu jautājumu, proti, vai nacionālā aviokompānija nevarētu savu ekonomisko, ja biznes darbību izvērst plašāk un valsts izdevīgumu mērīt, ne tikai cik nopelnīs gaisa kuģi, bet ko mēs varam nopelnīt šeit turpmāk pilsētā un valstī. Nu jādzīst, tas vienmēr ir bijis diezgan jūtīgs jautājums, vai drīkst uzstādīt reisus ar zaudējumiem, lai vēlāk peļņa būtu viesnīcās. Un pagaidām, manuprāt, ir salīdzinoši labs līdzes var satrast, jo skaidrs, ka ir politikas savus jaunos reisus, un mēs ar Gausa kungu esam apsprieduši arī dažādas gan iekšējos reisus, kas tālāk ne tikai Rīgā, bet Latvijā novirza pasažierus arī uz Liepāju, piemēram, Tādējādi ir jauns reizes atklāts, kas daļēji varbūt nes, tam pašam ir Baltikam zaudējums palangā, piemēram, jo tur samazinās, 
bet uh, par viesnīcu noslogojumu mēs vairāk domājam tieši marketinga un pievilināšanas izpratnē, kā panākt, lai jau privātais sektors reaģē uz to vilkmi, kas ir, nevis ar valsts dotācijām atbalstam nerendabūs reizes, kas tāds ir virzīts šobrīd. Ja. Oh, the story of success. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Why we don't want to share our own secrets to be so successful, but uh, I think I think we have been one of the first one international company working in, in Riga with the Dogava, uh, opening 15, 17 years ago. Um, but also we are really working with owners um, to develop with them a strategy for a good return of investment because the owner says, Michel, you are nice, but uh, I want my money back, which is normal. Also, we have we are the number one at, at Radisson Blue, we are the number one hotel chain in Europe and definitely the number one by far in Russia. So, you have this awareness, that's why we call it parking by Radisson, because we have a strong awareness all over Eastern Europe, uh, which when people travel from uh, Yekaterinburg, she just came <laughs> from uh, Yekaterinburg, uh, there's a GM there, she just arrived now, yeah. Uh, when you come from anywhere that you, at least you have heard about the name either Radisson or Blue or parking by Radisson, that's one of the key success. The second one is that probably this hotel is really representing a type of strategy. It's we want to be uncomplicated. We don't want to be we are the best and tell the guests, you know, just behave, you come to my hotel. No, it's your hotel. Come in and enjoy. So this reputation that we have built of really taking care of our customer, taking care of our owners with a good return of investment. Uh, being uncomplicated in our relationship with owners and with with clients, uh, with the guests, that's a little bit the, the key to our success. Uh, does it mean that you rely mostly on uh, Russian clients? Uh, because it's the number one in Russia, so it's... No, no, no. No, 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 because we are, basically, it's, we are more driven to the Nordics. Germany, Nordics, Finland. Okay, these are the three key markets, the market here. Uh, it's less Russians. Uh, Russians come after. Mm -hmm. But since we are very strong in the Baltics, in Poland, in Germany, in France, in England, we are number one in Europe. So uh, it's not only the Russians. Obviously, in Russia, we are the largest by far, the biggest hotel company, the Russia, international hotel company in Russia. Uh, that helps to be known, obviously. But it's not only the Russian market, no. Obviously, this is a, one of our core business. Russia is very strong. Because, again, we were the first international hotel company to open in Moscow um, with uh, the Radisson Blue Slavanskaya. Uh, there was another hotel that opened and closed soon after, so we don't count it. We are still in operations. And since then, we have uh, 15 hotels in Russia, so, so we are really well off there. But it's not, it's a core market, it's a very important market for us, that's not the only one. But don't forget guests do not come to Riga because we have a Radisson. Hmm. They come to Riga because they need to do business, because they love the city, they love the people, they love the food, the restaurant, the old city, and then they have to pick up the hotels, and then they pick up what they feel would be the best for them. Uh, was it easy to find the staff here? So, uh, it's not that easy, but due to our very good reputations as an employer, also we have a good reputations as employer. We treat our, our staff well. Um, we pay them decent salary, uh, all declared, if you know what I mean. Uh, but it's important because when you're going to start for working for the future. Uh, your pensions and everything, we all pay all clean money. So that's very important. Uh, so 
it's not that easy, but I think young, the younger generation is very interested to learn. And I see that also in other countries than, than, uh, than Riga or the Baltics or in Russia. Uh, they, there is a lot of young people who want to be part of a dream and part of a learning t skills for them. And we train a lot of people. We train. Now we have created uh, just recently what we call Center of Excellence, where we have the best receptions or the best chef, the best uh, housekeeper or the best technicians uh, spread out all over the hotels, uh, the countries. And then when we have a good employee that we want to develop, we send him one or two weeks in Moscow for front office, in, uh, in kitchen, in St. Petersburg or whatever, to help them to continue to grow. We, we strongly believe in developing our people. And I think that the young generation knows about it. You want the best chefs uh, in, uh, who are your best chefs here in restaurants? In? A restaurant. A restaurant. Here you have a kitchen? Yes, we have uh, Dennis. We have our executive chef, uh, Denis Golachenko, who is an experienced chef with uh, several years working in the UK and in Sicily. So he's bringing a very authentic touch to our food. Good answer. Okay, we have also very good. just hired now a new area chef. So it's a chef that will be based in Moscow because it's easier for us because our office is in Moscow. Uh, and also the owner agreed to share his time with other hotels. And this area chef will go from cities to cities and help to improve even more the quality, the details, etc. So, so we're investing a lot of time in this. And as I said, because in Moscow we have a very good owner that understands the strategy of the company. And we said, okay, we pay part of his salary, but uh, to work part time for your time. I said, okay, we should look on the trust you. So. Mm. Okay, thank you for several questions. Maybe anyone else has any? So, if not, maybe you have some finishing words, some closing things you have to say. I think it's good that you are going to see uh, three so different hotels today. Uh, this one is a typical parking by Radisson, the way we built now. I said colorful, uncomplicated, uh, un not unfriendly. <laughs> Don't take this note. Uh, <clears throat> uncomplicated, colorful, nice, uh, good food, good restaurant. This is the, the typical park in by Radisson. You have the residence, where you will see a very different product, because I think you are going now to the residence, which is good to see. And then we have the Astor, which is unbranded, what we call it unbranded, uh, but we manage for the owners. So. And then we have also all the Radisson that you know in the city, hopefully, you know, the other five Radisson we have in the city. So. Okay, thank you. As Michelle was saying, I hope you will, uh, I'm sure that you will enjoy the other two properties as well, so you will be able to see that our three hotel portfolio is having uh, wide offerings for any type of leisure or business uh, guests that are coming to the city. Uh, then you will uh, enjoy a short tour of the city and I'm looking forward to seeing you for the evening party. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I once again would like to congratulate you for making this decision and uh, from our side, also from the government side, I can confirm that uh, your priority markets here in Latvia, which you just stated, uh, Nordics also, uh, they are also priority markets in general for average tourists coming to Latvia among with Germans, Russians and others. And also we have marketing strategy. We will also invest money in raising general awareness about uh, our country and brand of our country and capital city, thus making your task easier. So and uh, we are also are very happy that branding of the country doesn't only help to raise some prices at the, in the hotels, but new hotel offers are coming and especially this uh, residence uh, type, apartment type, uh, was the first one in Latvia as such. Yes. And so I think that will be benefit uh, as an absolutely new niche 
for those tourists who come for either business visits, uh, for longer stay with their families, with opportunity to feel in Riga, in Latvia, at ho as at home. So, and uh, thank you once again. Thank you. Okay, thank you, and uh, thank you all for coming. But we're then saying goodbye, uh, because the bus is arranged, as you can see, outside the window, and it will take you to uh, Parque Pairanis and Residence Riga Barona next, and you will have an opportunity to see the property there. And uh, as said by Ms. Sharato, at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., here we'll start uh, an unofficial party and active party for this day. So thank you once again for coming, and see you later.